gonna believe it. What? Guess what I have sitting in my backyard? A trampoline? Better. A boat? Better. A trampoline? Too? Better. Well, what, Cartman? 33 aborted fetuses. Oh, yes. The hell are you doing with aborted fetuses? Guess you don't watch the news, Kyle. You've never watched the news, fat ass. And what the hell does that have to do with anything? Stem cells, num nuts. Stem cells? Oh, and what do you know about stem cells? What the fuck is stem cells? They're cells that come from fetuses, and some research shows that they could be used to treat diseases. It's been proven, Jew. What I have in my backyard is an aborted treasure chest. Hello, boys. What's going on here? All right, look, we don't know for sure why Cartman is ditching school, but it has something to do with abortions. That's all we know. You didn't do anything wrong, boys. We just need to talk to you. Have a seat. Boys, uh, your little friend Kenny went to the hospital last night, okay? And, well, he's pretty sick. Kenny's sick? Well, how sick? Children. Kenny has been diagnosed with a terminal disease. But the doctors are going to make him better, right? That's what hospitals are for. They, they can make him better. They don't think so, Stanley. Your, your friend is terminally ill, and that means... Well, son, th that means he's going to be going to heaven soon. But he's our f f f friend. We know, and that's why he's going to need you boys to be strong for him. He needs you now more than ever. No. This can't happen. Kitty can't die. Kitty can't die. <laughs> Cartman. Kenny's in the hospital. In the hospital? Why? They told us he has a muscular disease. And, and that... And that he, he might die. Die? Kenny? Don't you say that. Kenny's not gonna die. Hey, dude. How's it going? <laughs> we brought you a present. It's a gobo fighter. Don't, don't tell him what it is, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> hey, we were all just talking about how when you get better, we're all gonna go down to Stark's Pond again and go camping. Huh, Stan? I... <laughs> Stan? Stan, where are you going? I can't. I just can't. Dude, he needs us right now. I can't see him like that, Kyle. All those hoses and wires. He's a kid, dude. He's supposed to be running around and laughing. I, I know it's tough, but look at me. I know it's tough, okay? I know, but we have to be tough right now. And what are we supposed to do, huh? Stand in that room and keep making small talk? Make believe like everything's okay? I can't do it! Look, however hard you think it is for you, it's a lot harder for him. Just leave me alone! Stan, you can't leave! I'm not the one who's leaving! He is! You know, it's funny, Kenny. Stan and Kyle have always sort of been two best friends, you know? And, well, I don't know if I ever told you this, Kenny, but uh, I kind of always thought you were my best friend. I don't know. Don't you worry, Kenny. I I'm gonna find a cure for this. <laughs> Doctor, can you tell me exactly how stem cells work? Look, you have trillions of cells in your body. Heart cells, skin cells, brain cells, and so on. But before a cell is designated as a toenail cell or a pancreas cell, it's what we call a stem cell. Sort of like a blank cell, do you understand? Not at all, but go on. Because these cells are blanks, they will often program themselves based on what cells you put around them. You see this rat? Earlier this year, we surgically removed the middle of her spine. Then we injected her with some stem cells and... they became the missing part of the spine. So then, could stem cells be used on someone whose muscle tissue is wasting away? In other words, if a little boy was dying from a muscular disease, the stem cells could become new muscle tissue. That's the theory. But, unfortunately, the government has banned stem cell research, and so... we'll never know. Looks like somebody's gonna have to try and change the government's mind. Where are you going? There's a pretty brave kid fighting for his life in the hospital right now, Doctor. I'm gonna go get him some bigger boxing gloves. Hey, kid. Give him hell. Give him hell. Oh, Doctor. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, hey, kid.
Good luck. Good luck. Oh, my doctor. Yeah, never mind. My name is Eric Cartman. And my best friend in the whole world is Kenny McCormick, and he, he's sick right now. Look, I realize that using the tissue from aborted fetuses for research is a touchy subject, but all I know is that if there's a chance, a chance, that stem cell research could save my best friend's life, well, I guess I owe it to him to try and... I love Kenny McCormick, and, and I want you to love him, too. I'm sorry, I, I'm not the best speaker in the world. Maybe I can put it best in the words of a timeless song. It was the heat of the moment Telling me what your heart meant The heat of the moment Shown in your eyes I never meant to be so bad to you one thing I said that I would never do. One look from you and I would fall from grace. And that would wipe the smile right from my face. Do, do you, you remember, remember when, when we used, used to dance? And it's a dance to rules from circumstance. One thing led to another, we were young. And we would scream together songs on song. It was the heat of the moment, telling me what your heart meant. The heat of the moment, shown in your eyes. Hey, Kenny. He just, he just stopped breathing, and it was over. But I didn't get to see him. I, I didn't get to say goodbye. Did he say anything before he went? He just said, where's Stan? <laughs>